Hello and welcome to Sports Fix on Friday the 10th of June. Coming up for you in this week's episode, we've got build up to the third and final test of the series between England and Sri Lanka. Harry, thank you so much for inviting us into your house to do the interview today. Hi, I'm Jordan Clark for Risk TV and we're down at Dean Court to get the Bournemouth fans' reaction to news that manager Eddie Howe has decided to leave the club and join Championship side Burnley. If I take you back 12 months to around this sort of time when you're just starting to find out about the job, you remember the emotions? I imagine you were being pulled backwards and forwards different directions. Yeah, very much so. It seems to be a, a theme throughout my career. Saturday the 10th of September will be a day remembered by everyone connected to AFC Bournemouth for all the wrong reasons. While you're on the pitch there was a lot of chanting. First of all the fans were chanting, come back when you're sober. To, so, clear, yeah. to clear things up today, had you been drinking in your box that afternoon? Paul have been lucky enough to bag themselves another home tie in the FA Vars. That now means they've been drawn at home in every round of the competition so far. Adding to that, this time they've been drawn against ranked underdogs, Tour Point Athletic. But as Paul proved in the last round when they knocked out favourite Spennymore Town, rankings mean absolutely nothing in this competition. What about the rest of the fellas in the England team? They like a good Kingfisher or some of them white wine spritzers? I think you could tell well, a lot about yeah, a man from their drink. I think you can. I mean, obviously we've got a couple of Pims and Lemonade boys. Um, can you name names? Yeah, Strauss and Cook. The promotion last season, I know it was your way of giving something back to the fans after all the hard times, but how much of it was you speak of your mum there and your reasons for coming back and the rest of your family as well, how much do you dedicate it to them? Now to some news of signings in both football and cricket. Yesterday, AFC Bournemouth announced the season-long loan signing of 19-year-old Tottenham Hotspur defender Nathan Byrne. Didn't start for you down here in Bournemouth, but you did move down to playing here. Yeah. Starting with your own playing career, if you could pick a couple of words to describe it, what would you say? Did you yeah. achieve everything you wanted no, from not, No, not really. No. Uh, I've done a bit of research into why the fans got a bit disgruntled that day. And I think they felt it was the way you were clapping. I know it sounds silly, but can you understand that? They felt it was a bit sarcastic. Now, Paul have had to work really hard to get this far in the competition. In the last three rounds, they've had to come from behind to secure wins. It's been a real team effort, but one man in particular has stood out, striker Steve Smith, who scored five goals in four FA Vars appearances so far this season. Why do we get to see so much of that side of cricketers that we don't say see in other sports? I don't know. Do you have those worries, Eddie? When obviously when we're interviewing you, when we see you in the press, you always remain always very calm and collected. You we know how pressurised the job is. Yeah. What worries do you have about the future, if any? I think you always, me personally, my personality, I always feel the sack. Brilliant. Well, thank good. you so much for your time today, Harry, and best Pleasure. of luck at the end of the season in the Champions League. You're very thank good you very at your much. job as well. That top class, I mean that. Well, that's everything for this week. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Friday.